I'm, I am just continuing from where I left off when I speak about Mary Kay Baxter going to heaven and hell. And some of the things I mention about Jesus Christ. What I want to continue on about Jesus Christ is to make it clear to you that these pictures you are seeing even in the homes of Christians that are portraying Jesus Christ, these pictures are not the pictures of Jesus Christ. As you would have recalled that I told you that I have seen Jesus in the spiritual realm many times, these very same pictures that is now given to us and have been given to us for the longest time. These pictures are produced by groups and organizations and a particular church, even so the Catholic Church. So I want to use some example here and so as to bring what is the genuine Jesus into question. But before I do, let, I, let me just remind you of something here. When I said Jesus uh, appeared to me, dear Jesus, this Jesus that we are seeing is pictures so much plastered in the physical ring. I told you about his heart glowing and you will look at many of these Jesus pictures. You will see the heart and the chest. This art goes back to... Uh, ancient practice whereas they would take out the heart of human beings and give it to their God so I just want to be clear on the matter that not because I am telling you that I see Jesus this Jesus here you should think in a way that I believe I am seeing the true Jesus Christ who came here 2,000 years ago no I am aware of that but if I had this sort of ambition to think that, yes, I need power, I could be deceived because many of these people that, goes into these that go into these practice and uh, is given power to, uh, to be able to predict future events and all these things, they are power seekers and they can be easily trapped they can easily lose their soul because of this sort this sort of ambition but what i want you to also bear in mind that if jesus is saying my kingdom is not of this world then why would he want to have his picture plastered all over a world that he wished not to build his kingdom. Now, bear these things in mind. Now, and also be reminded that when he said, the goats will be on my left and the sheep will be on my right, it is to say, those who follow the devil is regarded as the goats and those who follow Jesus Christ is regarded as the sheep and even though these things have been said 2000 years ago they really had up to this day so I am saying to you be aware you know, let me just slip in here for a while about aliens. And if you look at my site, you will see that I have posted things about aliens and about lights and about the sun. And there are many more things to come. But I am just saying to, um, to you now concerning aliens. These so-called alien beings they are really demons and some while some remain in the spiritual realm 
in the embodiment of what would be called ghosts. There are some that are able to act in the physical realm, the physical world. So this seems to have some form of um, physical form, you know, touchable. It can be, they can be easily seen. So, uh, as we try to understand what makes a difference that some are able to function in a physical form while some just remain in the spiritual realm, it is something that we hard to work out. Now, so, this story about, um, about aliens and if you notice it is becoming more and more popular because you might have seen videos on aliens and government almost in bed here now. So these things are not strange because you will hear also many people refer to Genesis chapter 6 when the sons of God came down and they took wives of whom they chose and bear children unto them. And just see that Genesis chapter 6 is being revealed in this time that these sons of God, their offspring, 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 and it goes on that these fur forms are being created. And if you look at some of these vampire shows that they show, you will see that the main aim of Count Jacula is to be able to walk in the daytime and is always in pursuit of a type of body that will help him to walk in the physical world to be able to walk in the sun shine so a lot of things are being added up where these things are concerned if you watch the movie you will see it play out and let me also emphasize that when you see something and you say Oh, it is just movie. No, it is not like that. Bear in mind that no man can pre present to you things that do not exist. No man can tell you about anything that do not exist. It has to be in existence at one time or another for it to be able to talk about. Now, if you notice, a person can make up a lie and tell you. But notice, to tell you the lie, he depends on things, little pieces of things that is in existence to be formulated so as to create this lie. So, whenever you watch these movies and you see they are telling you about something, don't matter the form or size they are putting it in, it is because it has been in existence at some time or another. So, I am just asking you to be reminded that we are living in a real world.